Box is obviously a great idea, but a great idea doesn't turn into much unless you get great people. Help me understand why this has been so important to you from the beginning and how you went about it. Early on, I realized that you know, as you're sitting there packing the boxes yourself, you're like, oh, I can do this all day. And then your fifth order comes in, and then pretty soon it's 30 orders a day, pretty soon it's 100 orders a day. And you start to look around, you're like, like, this is gonna take a lot of effort. And I can't pack all these boxes myself, and neither can the four people that were in the garage at the time. And so early on, I knew that we would have to bring a lot of folks on board, and that's when I started really to really concentrate on it. So what's the magic? Because traditionally, people always think, I'm gonna go take a job where I can get paid the most amount of money. Yep. But it's not just about what you get paid because if you love what you're doing, if you like being there, you're going to go from being a shift worker to a stakeholder. That's right. How did you create that? If you hire someone that's gonna leave you for an extra thousand bucks a year, you know, you're always gonna be playing that game of just like trying to pay top salary and not really valuing the other things that we bring to the table. Some make the argument that capitalism working means optimizing every last dollar and that's paying your employees the least charging your customers the most and returning the most in terms of bottom line i can't argue with that but those same folks that say that's how you should operate a company i guarantee you probably don't go to a cruise line buffet and eat until they throw up um, and why don't they do that that's optimizing right it's free food you've paid it Eat all the crab legs you want, you know, until you gorge yourself. Go to the bathroom, relieve yourself, come back, eat some more, right? Oh Isn't God. that optimizing? Um, so it goes back to the point that, like, taking anything to the extreme um, oftentimes doesn't yield a great result. For the most part, the 200 plus people who work here, you personally have actually interviewed them because of this ethos throughout the organization, the no jerk policy. Yep. You only spend 20, 30 minutes in an interview process. Yep. How do you know if someone's a jerk? So because let me tell you, yeah. I put my best foot forward in an interview. It's the other uh, kind of way of thinking about it. It's like, if you can't hide the fact that you're a jerk for 20 or 30 minutes, yeah, you'd be surprised. Like some folks just can't help themselves. Really? Um, that, Give me an you know, example. You'll hear things that like, oh, even though my team was terrible, like I, I really, I built that business. Uh, I did this, I did that. And you're just like, oh, like was it just you or you know were there other people around you um and i think that starts to creep in um and at least for me that would be uh, a yellow flag do you have any questions that you slip in there which is like how you know your jerk radar will go <laughs> off if they give the wrong answer a question i love to ask is you know when you ask folks do you have an open mind very few people are saying nope totally closed then i usually follow up and just say when was think about something that um that you really believed in or that you really thought was true inside or outside of the office? Uh, and when was the last time someone changed your mind about it and what was it? Um, it gets really hard, right? And even when yeah. I, I often ask myself, um, and I have to like check myself of like, am I keeping an open mind? Uh, am I making sure I'm allowing kind of different points of view in? Early days of a growing company, you want um, Swiss Army knives. You want folks that can do everything. Um, and so later on, you need more domain expertise. Um, and so, as you find folks with domain expertise and a lot of experience, how do you find those folks that have that expertise but have that open-mindedness where they will, if they see the trash bin overflowing, they could be an executive vice president here, they're like, trash bin's overflowing, I'm here, I'm gonna take it out. Um, and it's rare. Uh, and so it's, it's tough to find that, but just because it's tough doesn't mean we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stop trying. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.